my dolls so welcome to another video in today's video i am going to be showing you how i did my signature green color with a twist i was feeling really creative with this you guys um i'm using this bleach water method i talked about it on one of my last videos but this was actually the first time that i had did it the video that i showed you before if you haven't seen me with the orange hair that video was the second time that i was using this water method so it has become my new technique i'm taking about five scoops of bleach and then i'm going to pour some 40 volume developer like i said in the last video i learned that the more watery you have it the kind of better it is with this one i made it kind of thick and it took a little longer for it to process but nonetheless it did process and my hair is still healthy and it looked good so basically this is just me pouring a developer inside of the bleach before i add the water and when you add water you want to add hot water so the wig we are going to be using today is from nadula hair company you guys know i've worked with nadula several times i love nadula's hair they have some amazing lace they have amazing hair and honey this wig is gorgeous but i'm about to strip it down i'm gonna strip it down and make it brown <laughs> a golden brown that is so now i'm going to just add hot water to this bucket i'm gonna fill it up probably 25 percent of the way and um once i get this to my liking i'm gonna mix it then i'm going to go ahead and add the wig in and start to saturate the hair so this is just another look at this wig to let you guys know that this was um a, a black wig you know what i'm saying so i just inserted the whole wig into the water and i started to press it in and i let you guys know that during this process you are going to have to get your hands dirty honey you got to get in there and brush through every strand of this hair because you want each strand to be saturated so that the wig can turn and it won't be patchy and you, it won't be blotchy like all of the hair will come out one color so make sure you don't try to be lazy just throw the wig in there and think it's gonna process all the way through no you have to work it through so this is about after um i would say 20 minutes you see how light this is um i was like okay i like this it's it's <laughs> This is doing what it's supposed to do, but I had to go back in and make sure that I am saturating it. And you can see that, um, when I'm saying saturating, y'all know what word I'm looking for. Making sure I'm getting this bleach all the way through the wig, honey. Pretty much. And I did put Lumina 4 on top of it because I wanted to trap that heat. So, yeah, this process, the first time, ended up taking me about 30 45 minutes i didn't have enough time to go in and do it twice so this is what it came out to. all right guys so this looks a mess right now but this is pretty much the color that it got to which is a pretty dusty like strawberry blonde basically um and i'm fine with it being here because i'm about to take these dyes right here which is the arctic fox phantom green the emerald in a door from a door aquamarine from a door and then indigo blue i don't think i'm gonna use these two pretty much just going to use the emerald and the phantom so i'm gonna take these two and i'm going to attempt this watercolor so we experiment and i sectioned this part out because this part i'm gonna make a blonde patch so i feel like i need to straighten this part up a little bit but this is gonna be the blind patches in the front we're gonna see how it works out and what i can do so let's go ahead and get into it So as you guys can see, I have my hand on the front part, the little piece that I sectioned off because I am dipping every part of this wig but that part into this green hair color. Um, 
I absolutely love this hair color, y'all. I didn't know if this process was going to work because I was like, how am I going to keep it from getting on my little skunk patch? But it really, really did the thing. Um, you're going to see me take some of the dye and actually apply it to my brush and see me actually, like, dye the edges around the skunk patch. But, baby, this came out so freaking pretty. Just make sure you don't dip the whole wig in there and you keep your hand and just like when you're doing the bleaching method you want to make sure that the color gets on every piece of hair so you will have to get your hands dirty again girl and get in here and you know really make sure that this hair is saturated so this is like this hunter green color but i was like no we gotta go deeper we gotta go deeper i need my signature green and that's exactly what i got and just make sure you keep on holding on to the patch so that it does not have color so this is what i'm talking about when i said i dyed around it because i wanted to make sure those roots got the green on it and that my um patch was really defined so yeah this is pretty much all i want to talk to y'all about when it comes to the patch i did um blow dry it and i found some old dye i don't know what dye this is y'all i really wish i did but you can get this same look by using some Wella charm some t27 or something like that but i had this old blonde dye at the house and i just decided to put it on that patch because i wanted to tone it and i wanted it to be a little bit more blonde so this is what it came out looking like i was so excited but let's get into this install hunty yes i've been using uh oil to grow my edges my edges got little buds growing in i'm gonna show y'all i'm gonna do a video Le like this video and comment down below if you want me to do a video on how i've been growing my edges back because baby they have come a long way i know you looking at them like girl they still patchy but you don't, you don't even understand. They have come a long way. When I was stressed out doing this whole process, my hair started falling out from stress. So, oh, girl, I'm so happy about these edges. <laughs> oh, my God. So, anyways, I am doing the wig cap method. Y'all know this. I'm pretty much going to let you just watch me work. I had so much fun installing this hair. All the links to this wig that I'm going to be using is down in the description box below. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you guys want more of these videos. I don't have to talk through this part because I have so many videos on here of me installing a unit. It's insane. I'm using that same freaking method. And yeah, I love y'all and enjoy this video period.
All right, <laughs> all right guys, so this is almost the finished look. I forgot my wide tooth comb, so let me go in here, grab my wide tooth comb, and then we are going to um, comb these curls out because I can't have them looking like this. So one second. Okay, so scratch the comb. Uh, honestly, went in the bathroom and I did the curls. I flipped my hair like this. And I did this. And then, boom, she got this. So I didn't even need the wide tooth comb because I like this. I like the volume it has, and I'm just loving it. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think, because right now, it is giving what it's supposed to give. And I'm gonna cut a few little bit more layers, like right up in here. transition to flow. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Well, I'm going to take it anyway, y'all. I like the layers, but it's not curled the best, honestly. But I feel like it's giving. So, this is the hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm about to get ready to film the intro and kind of play with this until I get it to my liking. Cause y'all know, you gotta play with it until you get it to your liking. All right. Like any nigga, I be running in they pockets. I'm always in these bitches, mouth 